how to purchase the camera that you've been dreaming of. No, it's not going to work with a Leica necessarily or a Contax camera or something high end, but those cheaper cameras, pretty much any other SLR camera, DSLR camera you're looking for from back in the day, this is a really good way to purchase them. Check this out. This heavy box, the seller did a great thing. They packed this full of cameras. This is a lot, but let's dive in the box and let's see what we've got. You guys, this is pretty straightforward. What I do if I'm looking for a camera, a camera from back in the day, is I look for camera lots. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of surrounded by cameras on my shelves. And if you've looked at my previous videos, I also have a massive shelf to my right there with a huge amount of inventory in it that I use and rotate through and review. That having been said, I also sell my old stock, which I'm not using. I was looking for one particular camera, a digital camera, a pocket camera, and it ended up being in this lot of a bunch of cameras. So. This is a great way to get into the 35 mil photography game or the digicam game. Those two types of cameras tend to be thrown in into lots. Now, if you do it, just know that that lot is probably going to have a bunch of cameras that don't work in it. But if it's 30 bucks or if it's less than 50 bucks, then you're probably going to save money anyway. This, my Canon AE1, I got it from a family member. You're not probably going to find this in a lot. It's going to be sold as an individual. That having been said, I also sell my old stock, which I'm not using. I'm a pretty cheap person. I'm sure you can tell because I'm wearing a free hat from an insurance company. I don't even care. So number one, this is actually the camera that I was waiting for. This is the one that I'm excited about. It's a digital camera and it's tiny. So we're going to open this last. This, in my opinion, is worth 50 bucks. So I paid 36 bucks ish for this box. So I've saved money getting the camera that I wanted. But let's have a look at the rest. The packaging actually isn't that bad. There's an eBay tape, which I love. This is obviously a regular seller. That having been said, let's dive in. So the first one then, this is a 12 megapixel Kodak Digicam. Number two. I don't know much about these cameras. This is a Kodak disc camera. I follow a pretty cool guy from the Philippines um, and he shoots with one of these cameras and I just love the images that they uh, portray. Now this is the Kodak disc telly, a wonderfully cute little camera. I believe this was from around about the 80s, 1985, but it takes little discs. So the images that you get are very unique. So I'm excited to try that. Um, I'll do a review on it. I won't expect many hits on that. Of that review, um, but yeah, it will just be interesting to use. Okay, then this is camera four. So this is a Canon T50. The Canon T50 was an 80s camera. I absolutely love the vibe. Next camera, then let's have a look. This is the Canon T70. Now the Canon T70 is pretty special. This particular camera has on board an eight bit computer. And if you're old like me, then you know that 8 bits back then in the day powered the Nintendo NES or the NES. Now, the reason that this camera is really dope, I believe, is it has lots of program modes. Now, my AE1 takes the same camera mount lens, so I can use these FD mount lenses on this T70. However, this does not have program mode, and this does. So this is a very special camera. It has been kind of likened or compared to the Nikon F4. Now, the Nikon F4 is a professional camera, does a lot more, but this has a fast shutter speed, has multiple program modes, has an LCD screen, and it's just a very good technologically advanced camera. So super happy to have had that. It has this fast reload system as well. All you do is you fold the leader across to the red uh, line here, this red indicator, close the door, boom, press the button and it'll wind on, and then you can shoot to your heart's content. Super beautiful big viewfinder. Okay, what's next? This, this is another camera which I really like. 
This is a camera by Ricoh, and this is the Ricoh KR30. It's from the 1980s. This also has a program mode. It has aperture priority. It has auto exposures. It takes the RK mount, I believe. I have an RK lens here, I do. So that means that all of my Pentax cameras, my Pentax cameras, I can use those Pentax lenses on this camera. It's a super small, sleek, beautiful camera. Very, very, very fun to use, super plasticky, but I think those vibes are gonna come in. You know, as people move away from those 70s cameras and these 1980s cameras take over, you know, these beautiful plasticky cameras will probably have their own day. Let's continue because there's still so much more. Another Kodak Digicam, this is the C183. It's worth nothing. It takes AA batteries. It's just good to have in your pack if you're hiking, stick it in your pack or just stick it in your front pocket as you're hiking along, just take pictures rather than using your phone and wasting that charge in case you get lost and you need to phone a SOS. Um, just use these little Digicams to do that and you'll get a really cool kind of old school vibe. They usually have the megapixel on them. I'm not sure the megapixel of this. I'm sure it's probably gonna be like 10. Looks like a early 2000s, 90s Digicam. Probably worth nothing, but hey, it was in the lot. Penultimate camera then. It's a big word, penultimate. Ugh. Okay. This is an interesting camera. This is the Yashica or the Yashica TL Electro. This is a 1972 camera. Um, it has the M42 mount, Ugh! which are these Yashica screw mount lenses. I have a bunch of them. I already have a um, TL Electro X, which was one of the first 35 mil cameras I ever purchased. Now this particular camera, it's interesting. It takes an interesting battery. It's the PX, PX640, um, which is quite hard to come by. It has a hot shoe, self-timer, TTL metering. Um, it's a 1972 camera, beautiful camera. If anything, it will look good on the shelf. I don't really shoot Yashica that much, um, but they're great cameras. It's good quality, you know, 10 bucks worth in my opinion. But really, it's an old school 35 mil camera, so it's priceless. To somebody, it will be priceless. To me, it was free in the lot. Thank you very much. Okay then, so without further ado, further ado, further to do, without further to do, ado, this is the last one. This is the one I was actually looking for. And it's a really simple reason why. It actually comes in a little case, which I'm super happy about. This might be the original case. I'm hoping this camera works. I'm not expecting it to work. If it does, this whole scenario was totally worth it. Remember, $36. Oh, that is a cute, cute, cute camera. Batteries in it. This particular camera is the Kodak V610, and I was looking for this camera. It's one, it was, of its time, one of the smallest cameras to have the longest zoom. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a 10 times optical zoom, and I think it's like 38 to 380, or 40 to 400, 38 to 380 respective zoom or focal lengths, which is wonderful. It has an easy share mode, which I love about Kodak, so I can just beam my images across to my laptop. But also what I love about this is it's only 6.1 megapixel, so I get those retro vibes, and it has dual screen and two CCD sensors. Obviously it's got two lenses, so it has two CCD sensors. But the images you get from those CCD sensors I love, so this is gonna be my little pocket cam, but it looks absolutely immaculate. There's no rust, there's no damage. That is wonderful. It's the Kodak 10X610. This beautiful CCD pocket camera was the reason I bought this lot. Thank you very much eBay for selling me this camera. I was excited to get it. I'm excited to test it. It's gonna be in my gear. That optical zoom is gonna come in handy. Those CCD sensors are gonna get me those beautiful images. I'm super happy. What a lot. What a fantastic deal. $36. Rico 
Yashica, Canon T50, Canon T70, Digicams in my pockets, and my beautiful Kodak V610. Love eBay. Buy in bulk. You guys can do it. Post what you got. Enjoy photography. Love, love, love. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys on the next one. Boom.